ZK Sync is another big crypto airdrop that is coming in the upcoming weeks or months after our Bitroom. And in this video, I'm going to go again and review what's changed since my last video a couple of months ago about ZK Sync because this airdrop is going to be massive and you don't want to miss it. So already in my past video, I was talking about the testnet because that was the stage of things back then. Right now we have kind of a mainnet, but this is only for developers. Plus you can do a couple of other things, so I will explain those. But first of all, what is ZK Sync? This is the newest website uh, from ZK Sync. A really cool one looking. As you can see, ZK Sync era is the layer two protocol that scales Ethereum security and values through zero knowledge cryptography because ZK stands for zero knowledge. ZK Sync's mission is not only to increase Ethereum's throughput, but to fully preserve its foundational values at scale, every decision for the protocol is judged against our core principles. And we believe in freedom, map and open source, trustless security, resilience, decentralization, community ownership. The cool thing is that uh, they actually open source everything. And it's really cool if you go to the Medium post, of course, the, all the links will be down below in the description. Uh, the Medium post is all aboard ZK Sync era mainnet from February. Uh, they actually announced that two things, basically the version 2.0, uh, so ZK Sync 2.0 is now ZK Sync Era and ZK Sync 1.0 is ZK Sync Lite. Uh, so if you watched my previous video about ZK Sync, basically we were uh, interacting with this Lite version of ZK Sync. Also, everything right now is fully open source uh, with the idea that you have the freedom to view, modify, fork the code as promised. And this is really cool stuff for all the future developers that will want to jump on this train and use uh, zero knowledge cryptography in their own blockchain projects. Uh, so they explain how you can onboard and how how the roadmap looks like. Basically, the, the stage we're at right now is fair onboarding alpha. So mostly this onboarding for the already existing projects and developers that want to join and test the platform. So everything you can imagine from like Ava to all to Compound to other um, uh, other kind of protocols that are. Uh, usually associated with uh, the top DeFi protocols. Uh, and then the full launch will probably also bring the token. So this is uh, what we're looking for here. As you can see, the last time I was speaking about uh, ZK saying that was around this phase where uh, it was very early on uh, with uh, just the test net. And right now we're speaking about the main net. So uh, the cool stuff, as I've mentioned, fully open source. So getting back to the website itself, um, you can see this is the ethos, uh, hyperscalability. This is the end game for the unlimited number of transactions with a marginal impact on security or cost. This is the goal here with zero knowledge uh, proofs. Um, and uh, this is the, the security stats that they have. So they have 12 months already of fully running live testnet, 8.8 uh, .8 million testnet transactions and uh, $3.6 million spent on audits and bounties. This is really great news because security in the crypto uh, is really, really crucial. Uh, brand new UX, as you can see here from the website, and pushing the frontier. Many partners that you might know of, like Uniswap, One Inch, uh, MakerDAO, SushiSwap, uh, and a bunch of others as well. So this is really, really great here. A bunch of investors also uh, on this train. So if you want to interact, uh, the one thing that I've mentioned in my previous video already for the crypto airdrop is using the bridge. So the thing that you can do is go to the website girly.portal.zkSync.io bridge. Of course, the link will be down below in the description and try to use the testnet to actually bridge from uh, Ethereum girly to ZKSync uh, era girly. Uh, this is the light version that's already working the mainnet version, but you won't be able to use it because uh, it's only for developers, unless you're, of course, verified already. Uh, the second thing that you might want to use is uh, going with the faucet. So request funds from faucet. Uh, this still works. Uh, you just click on that, uh, give your Ethereum address, and this will, after tweeting, you'll be able to receive within 24 hours uh, the, the, some, some of the free testnet tokens. So you can already use that. So those are the two things that you can still do. Uh, I don't know when was the snapshot or whether that already happened or not. Uh, this was what I was recommending this couple of months ago. Another thing you might want to try is uh, going with Arbiter. Uh, this is probably the fastest way right now to bridge from Ethereum to ZK Sync Lite. I 
as you can re recall from the article, Lite, ZK Sync Lite is the version 1.0 of ZK Sync. Version 2.0 is only coming right now uh, for the developers, but you can already, if you haven't done that before, you can already done that here on Arbiter. Again, the link will be down below in the description. Uh, finally, uh, definitely explore the ecosystem. There's the official website ecosystem.zksync.io, again, link in the description, and you can see uh, different projects that are already live and where they're live, like on ERA or Light. So ERA is 2.0, Light is 1.0, and you can already uh, do some interactions with some of them, and this would give you uh, the number of transactions that might be needed for any kind of airdrop uh, if you think about it. So uh, looking at the case of Arbitrum, because this is the, the natural thing to compare here, uh, looking at the case of Arbitrum, what really matters is uh, the number of transactions and consistency. So you don't want to do all the transactions in 48 hours. Uh, this is something that Arbitrum was really careful about that, uh, especially if you had all the transactions done in the period of 48 hours and then forget about the chain, uh, then basically you didn't uh, get any airdrop. Also, you don't want to have uh, airdrops connected with each other. So if you want to do multiple airdrops and use uh, this kind of strategy for this airdrop farming, uh, use a VPN. Again, the link to, down below in the description if you want to buy one. Uh, finally, uh, well, just normal interactions usually is fine. So if you're just doing that with one wallet and doing normal interactions, going, for example, with a couple of uh, swaps, DEXs, changing one token to another, that's usually fine. Just have that uh, in uh, periods of time, uh, especially in uh, different weeks, different months, uh, that usually works. This was the case for uh, Arbitrum nevertheless. So uh, this is, the, this is uh, the update on ZK Sync airdrop. As you can see, a lot of things happened since I last covered it and definitely I will be coming back to ZK Sync uh, in the upcoming weeks. And once we know more about the launch of the mainnet for everyone, uh, I probably also go into the code. Uh, this is super interesting from my perspective uh, of a builder. So definitely look out for this kind of videos for everything guys of course subscribe to the channel i tend to cover new chains new protocols new DeFi apps and new nft collections and everything that is interesting in crypto and that i can think of so subscribe and see you in the next video